He's the rat, a former radically independent governor of Minnesota, an actor, a former superstar in the world of wrestling. Now his main mission is seeking the truth behind a constant flow of lies the government tells us and secrets it wants to keep from us. Who else could I be talking about? Jesse Ventura's new book is called 63 Documents the Government Doesn't Want You to Read. And the great former governor of Minnesota joins me now. Governor Ventura, it's a pleasure. It's my pleasure, Judge. Keep up the great work. You're the only voice of reason out there. Well, thank you very much. I, I, uh, I enjoyed reading the book, but it kept me up late at night because there Good. were some things in here that terrified even me, and I call myself the night watchman of the government. What, what's the lesson of this? What do you want people to learn with 63 secret documents the government doesn't want you to know well, about? Well, first of all, all these documents in this book are in the public domain. Now. We, broke, we broke no laws. They are out there. Um, what I want the people to learn is what was terrifying to me, Judge, and, and, and depressing doing this book is that when you read some of these documents, you could substitute the word Nazi and it would work. What do you mean? Our behavior. Behavior don't, don't get of the me United States government. Government. Military, executive branch, All of intelligence it. agency. Uh, they're, they're, don't get me wrong, we have many great people in government, honest people, patriotic people, but we also have evil in our government. Right, but we, never, we, we didn't mass exterminate people like the Nazis did. You're talking about an wait, attitude. Wait, 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 wait. What about going down to Nicaragua and uh, intentionally giving syphilis to three to four hundred people so we, we could, so we could so we see could if study penicillin that. worked? That we know about. What about Operation Northwoods? Well, Tell us about what the military wanted JFK to do in Miami in order to get rid of Castro. Well, the military wanted to use our CIA and, our, and the Joint Chiefs wanted to use our CIA and military to attack certain parts of the United States and make it look like Castro did it so that the country would get up in arms and support an invasion of Cuba. And what did JFK say about that? JFK told him to take a hike. And when JFK told them that he was going to pull troops out of, uh, out of Vietnam because he believed that that was a fruitless and immoral mm. war, and I'm no defender of JFK, those in, though in these two instances I agree with what we now know is his judgment, what did the military do? Or what happened after JFK was murdered that the military and LBJ did to shore up support for the Vietnam War? Well, they uh, had what was called the Gulf of Tonkin incident. And in 2004, when I was teaching at Harvard, McNamara came through and admitted it never happened, that it was a false flag made up event. And that eventually put 58,000 of our generation died and probably a million Vietnamese over something that never occurred. And the official uh, Gulf of Tonkin incident, and there are documents about it in the book, was that American ships peacefully in the Gulf of Tonkin were attacked, were attacked by North Vietnamese. And yeah. in fact, there may have been some, some ships there, but they weren't attacked. No. And on the basis of that, President Lyndon Baines Johnson got the Congress of the United States not to declare war. We haven't declared war since December 8th, 1941. Uh, one. Correct. Uh, but he got the Congress to authorize him to fight this war against uh, North Vietnam. Exactly, and that put ground troops in there. That's right. what happened. Um, What's the big picture here? Why does the government lie? Why does the government kill? You know, Why does the government hide this from us? Well, obvious, I don't know. You better ask them. You know what else? Do you realize, Judge, that last year the government classified 16 million documents top secret that you and I are not allowed to see? And I challenge that saying I'm allowed to see everything. You know why? I pay taxes and I have every right to know what they're spending my tax money on. Well, we know some of the things they're spending your tax money on because of WikiLeaks and Julian Assange. It is alleged that a private first class named Bradley Manning, who's probably being tortured by the military uh, as we speak, we know there's psychological torture being visited on him, leaked this information to Assange, and Assange leaked it to the world. What do you think of WikiLeaks and Julian Assange? I think they're heroes, absolutely. And what troubles me is what was the first thing Bradley Manning released? He released that heli the video of that helicopter yeah. chopper murdering people, just gunning them down. So now he's in prison, but these murderers, 
are walking free. Well, why isn't he, and, and maybe this is a legal question that you should be asking me, why isn't he protected by the whistleblower laws? I mean, basically, he revealed that the, the government committed murder. He should be protected for that yeah. revelation, shouldn't he? Well, because I think that the whistleblower laws, they're there, but they don't exist, if you know what I mean. They put them out there to look good. Right now, whistleblowers are being prosecuted at the highest level ever. And it's clearly they're sending a message. You know what I had happen to me the other night? I had a New York City fireman come up to me and say, Governor, thank you. You're talking for us on 9-11. I said, why don't you firemen that were there speak out? We can't. They'll take our retirements. They'll fire us. You're the one that's standing up for us firemen and telling the truth of 9-11. It's very interesting that people are worried about losing their benefits if they speak the truth. The truth used to be a, pre a premium in this country. Now you get punished for it. Yep. Um, uh, switching gears uh, a little bit. Uh, the president of the United States, through his attorney general, uh, two days ago, uh, announced that the people whom the government says planned 9-11 will be tried before military commissions in Cuba, not in the place where the harm occurred as the Constitution requires, which would be New York City or the federal court closest to Shanksville, PA, and the federal court in Northern Virginia. What do you think about that decision? I think it's outrageous. First of all, these guys that they have in custody are not military. Let me give you an example. Imagine if, say, we arrested five of the Hells Angels motorcycle club, right? Would we try them with a military tribunal? No. They'd go to court. And we would, and I, you know why I think it's being done, Judge? Why? Because, number one, they don't have the evidence. And number two, they don't want us to hear any of the evidence. Right. Now all you're going to hear is, we found them guilty, we put them to death, and there's your proof that 9-11 was a, above it's board. It's a very, very dangerous precedent. If without declaring war, the president can decide who is going to be tried in a military tribunal when the Constitution says they have to be tried in the neighborhood where they caused the harm. Jesse Ventura, the one and only. The book is 63 documents the government doesn't want you to read. Governor, it is always a pleasure. Thank you for Thank joining us. Thank you, Governor Judge, and you keep up the good work because you're the only one speaking it like it is. Thank you. Coming up, a titan of television steps down from Fox.